Following weeks of negative temperatures and single digit temperatures and back to back to back snowstorms that dropped a feet of snow on our homestead, we finally have some warmer temperatures in the forecast and no major snow events. Today, Jeremy was able to get the plow and plow out the driveway so that he could barely squeak the trailer out of here and go pick up our drywall so we can get back to work on the house. Jeremy just called and he is on his way back with the drywall. So our plan for the rest of the day is just to get our workspace cleaned up because as you can see, things have gotten a little messy. So we're gonna get that all cleaned up and then we'll move all of the drywall in for tomorrow's project, get the lift set up and that way in the morning, we are ready to just get to work. Jeremy is back with the drywall. I got this place looking a lot better. I'm gonna help him back up the trailer and get that drywall in here. Okay, good. Hey, how'd it go? Good, it's cold? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I've been cleaning. Oh, really? Yeah. Like this big old mess. Did you clean the whole house out? Well, we get the last bit, we can get the drywall in tonight. Okay, deal. Looks so much better in here, Mama. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, I just didn't want to start another project in the middle of the chaos that was our house. I know. I'll help you finish up. All right, Mama, I think it's time you're going to start carrying the sheetrock in. I think so. Let's do it. Oh, that's a lot of drywall. Go for it. Easy as that, you tired? Yeah. We haven't even begun yet. I know, now we get to lift it to the ceiling. Today is the day, following what's been a very long journey to get to this point, we are finally getting some sheetrock put up on these walls and getting this place a little more buttoned up and looking like a home. I got all of our gear and equipment set up for the day since Melissa is still inside finishing up with homeschooling. I also came into the master wing, master bath and marked all of the trusses up on the top of our double top plates and everything it is that's gonna be cut out has also been marked. I think we're good to go. So once Melissa finishes up, comes out here, we're gonna get to work. Hello, Mama. Hello. Homeschool done? It is. Are your shoulders ready to hold up the drywall for me so I can screw yes. it all in? Are you excited? Except for the lifting table. I know. The for you. I'll probably just need you here and there. But. I'm here for moral support. Let's That's do good. this. Let's do it. So we're starting with the ceilings for our drywall project over both wings, the master wing and the kids wing, because then we can get all of the insulation blown in in the attic space. So we've got to have that ceiling up first. So it makes sense to start there. And then we will work our way down with the walls. <laughs> We're gonna do a most excellent job. <laughs> First cut. First piece of mini. All right, so we have our first little chunk of drywall set up on the ceiling here in the shirt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Don't laughs> <you can't say laughs> First section of drywall is up on the ceiling here in the bathroom and uh, we're still figuring things out. I'm still figuring things out. 
We got some new tools. We have this uh, drywall drill. Works great, seems to work great so far. Um, we also have a cutout tool. So there's a couple little sections here on this very first chunk I need to cut out. We'll get everything cut out. I'll finish securing this entire piece. Hopefully we find our working rhythm and then uh, we'll move on. We need to get this entire wing done in the next two days, Melissa. This thing really squishes my eyeballs up. Look. <laughs> Sorry, I don't feel like I'm not wearing this right. I look like I got stuck in my feet. <laughs> We got the teeny tiny little toilet room done and now we are moving on to the main bathroom. How straight can I make it? Sorry, Mama. <laughs> That's how you dry a wall. Hey, it's not falling down. So that's good. Awesome. There's a person that falls through it. <laughs> Where did he come from? How'd you get up there? Wouldn't surprise me. You're ruining the box of chocolates again? Cream. You want that one? No. I don't like it. Oh, I'm from Hawaii, so I gotta like the coconut. It's pretty horrible. It's like chocolate dipped in suntan lotion. You wanna cut the power to this light for me? Yep. Go ahead, mama. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. A couple more panels and the bathroom's done. Jeremy and I were just talking about this red lift and how it brings back so many memories of building our tiny home. When we were putting the ceiling up in there, I couldn't even imagine ever completing it and living in it, but now we've been living in it for a year. And I know that although this seems very daunting right now, once we're living in the house, we're not even gonna remember tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's slow and steady wins the race, right? I mean, we're not moving at a blistering pace by any means, but it's still really exciting to see the progress that we're yeah. making. And I know I told Melissa this morning we were getting ready to come out here to work that it's just very, very surreal to be at this point, um, at this stage of life. And just in just period, I can't believe we're getting drywall put up and that, you know, we're making this place look more and more like the home we've dreamt about building and living in. It's something we've talked about for a really long time now. So it's very exciting, even though these tasks can seem a bit daunting. It's still very, very exciting. It is very exciting. It's fun to watch it come together. So we're going to get back to work. We still have a closet to do tonight. <laughs> We've both carried life insurance since we started having kids, but it had been a really long time since we reshopped our policy because I was putting it off because I didn't know where to start. Thankfully, I found Policy Genius and they made sure that we had the best option at the best price. It's incredibly reassuring to know that no matter what happens, our family will be cared for. 
If someone in your life relies on your financial support, you need life insurance. It's really that simple. Even if you have life insurance through your job, it may not be enough. Most people need 10 times the coverage that they get through their employer. Since life insurance tends to get more expensive as we get older, it's smart to lock in a policy sooner rather than later. Getting started is easy. Click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash GSL and answer a few questions about yourself. In minutes, you can work out how much life insurance coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. Their licensed experts will help you understand your options and ensure you apply for the right policy. Policy Genius works for you, not the insurance companies, so you can trust them to offer unbiased advice and help you navigate every step of the shopping and buying process. When you're ready to apply, the Policy Genius team will handle the scheduling and paperwork for free. They'll also never sell your information to other companies and they don't add any extra fees. Head to policygenius.com slash GSL to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save today. All right, guys, looky there. We have a ceiling here in the master bathroom. Turned out okay. Couple little minor hiccups here and there, but no big deal. So I'm gonna move on and continue on and keep working here in the master closet. What's your plan, mama? My plan is to go inside and get warm and cook some dinner. That sounds good, I'm hungry. All right, I will bring you out some dinner. I expect this entire thing to be done in about an hour. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You guys want to help me bring this food out to daddy? Yeah. You want to see what he's doing in there? <laughs> okay, someone grab a fork and we'll head out. Sounds like it's pouring out. It's been a while since we've seen rain. What's up, guys? Dinner? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. How are you doing in here? Coming along. Slow progress, so I'm getting it done. Just harder by myself. You see what I did? Yeah. There you go, what do you think? Whoa. What? Oh, whoa. I'm not done in here, I have more to do. Look at the bathroom. Whoa. Oh, it's like an amazing reflection of the same place. I like it. Does it look more like a bathroom now? Yeah. More like a house? Coming in now? I'm gonna finish these last two panels and I'll come meet you inside. All right. Okay. Got a lot done. Thanks, Mama. I was just gonna high five you, but that's much better. Much more intimate. Tastes like steak. <laughs> It is an absolute drippy wet mess outside. Luckily we are working inside today. Our goal is to get our entire master bedroom ceiling done. So we're gonna get to work. Ooh. All right, 12 foot sheets today, mama. 12 by four. One handed. They're big, they're floppy, they're tough to deal with, and you're on your own. <laughs> yeah, right. Good? This goes face down, right? Yep. I need to be taller. I should have worn my stilettos. Sweet, we got it. That wasn't so bad. Yeah. It's got a little floppy. A little you don't floppy. like when it's floppy. <laughs> no one does, Jeremy. <laughs> Let's be realistic. Okay, this first piece went up pretty easy. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. We're gonna knock this out quick. Hopefully they all go like that. <laughs> they will. I swear, it was way harder in the bathroom where it was small. Yeah. Now we actually have space. Nice to have the working room.
Germany is getting that first sheet all secured. So I'll talk to you a little bit about what we're using today. We're going with the four by 12 sheets because the longer the sheet, the less seams that we have to work with in larger spaces. We can actually make that happen in the bathroom and in the toilet room and in the closet. They're small and they've got little tiny entryways that go around corners. So we had to go with the standard eight by four in those rooms. So there's going to be a few more seams. And then we went with the mold resistant green board in the bathroom and we'll be doing the same in the utility room and the kids' bathroom as well. Great. <laughs> All right, Mama, what do we have for today's snack that you've already been munching on for the last two days? <laughs> we have a Whitman samplers. I have a very specific way of eating chocolates. My grandmother taught me that you take a bite out of each one, and then that way you know what's in them, and you can return to your favorites. I don't approve of this message. Okay, can I have one at least before you ruin them all? I mean, don't worry about it. There's a whole second row in here. Listen, those are annihilated too. What is, are those I, raisinets? I tried those ones too. Here, look, there's one that I have not eaten. It's a coconut. Chocolate should never have coconut in it or lemon. Ugh. If you need to know what anything is, just ask me and I'll tell you because I've already bitten into every yeah, single one. I know what everything is. Inedible because it's gross <laughs> and disgusting. How do you slobber all It's over. how I claim the box of chocolates. All right, thanks to whoever sent this. We appreciate it as always. I'm We're rocking. rolling on this ceiling. We're going to be done. Finish early. Come on. For once. I'm walking on a long night. And decide a distant thing. In the bright condescent veins. From sky and orange maze. I've been moving through the blood of thought. It electrifies our hearts. We all just want to stop that. Thank you, Mama. You got it? You got that? Uh, no. Go home unless they get drunk. <laughs> Not yet. Between flickers of a street light, in the time it takes to read, both sides above the street. Alright, Mama. One last little tiny strip. Couple shoots, we're done. Woo! When we first moved here, we had never built anything substantial. A rabbit hutch, a small chicken coop, and a shed. And if we're being honest, they were nothing to brag about. So when we told our family that we were moving to the mountains to build our own house, they were naturally concerned. Hell, we were concerned. For a year, we stared at a hole in the ground 
wondering how on earth we were going to do this. Then one day, we started. When we finished the floor, we stood on it, and we felt like, wow, we did this. Each step has been like that. Framing, sheeting, windows, and every time we say, I can't believe we did this. Jeremy has the best way of looking at things. Every time someone says, you can't do that, he tells me, people do it. It's possible. Realizing that you're capable, surprising even yourself, is such a gift. Because once you can get out of your own way, you realize that we're all capable of much more than we ever imagined. So tonight, as we watch these rooms transform, we once again stood back and said, I can't believe we built this. Maybe it's always going to feel crazy to us. I mean, it was a crazy idea. But hey, people do it. It's possible.